Well, I love this riff, absolutely love it. So you may not know it, but it's uh, from one of my all-time favorite bands, Wishbone Ash, and it's it's a, it's a bit of a, a guitar bit in the middle of it, uh, all based around the E minor pentatonic scale. And it's one of those things that I've always wanted to play it, and I learned it, and then I learned it in a different position as well. So you're playing the same notes in different positions up the neck. It's a great discipline to have, and it's, it's such fun to play. It's a great one, you can just pick it up, pick your guitar up, play it and put it down, but you can extend that riff for as long as you like, or until your fingers bleed. So, I'll show you what I'm doing then. It's uh, the first bit of the riff is like that. So, we're using a lot of um, sort of technique on our left hand, so we don't let the notes ring out too much. So we're gonna start off again, and you can see on my right hand, I'm not going, I'm going. So I'm using the, technique to use the plectrum to stop the notes ringing out. And then we're going to play, after the open bottom E or the low E, we're going to hit the octave. We're going to use the second fret of the D string. So we have like that, up there. Then we go. So we go on pulling off. So we're playing the D, uh, so the E note, D string second fret, and just pulling off to the open D. So we have like that. Next bit. So after you've pulled off to the open D, we're then playing the B note, second fret of the A string, and then the open A. But we're hitting both the notes, no pull-offs there. Then next bit. So we're playing the G note, third fret of the E string, open A, and then the second fret of the A string, which is the B note. So now we have like that. So that's the first one. Practice that a few times. This may be the first bit that you want to play. You may just want to learn that. Pick your guitar up, play that and put it down and nail that. Get a bit of speed up and do it again. One thing I found was very useful is using my forefinger and the middle finger to play the notes and, you know, using different fingers to play the notes because that's a very another good discipline and it's, it's quite good if you're going to pick your guitar up and say, I'm just going to use my forefinger. This time I'm going to use the other finger. This time I use both. And then you'll find out what feels really comfortable for you. So, okay, you've nailed that first bit. Then you come up to the last, the second bit of this first rev of this part of the riff. So it's very, very similar, except we're just stopping it a bit short. Again, we're starting with the open E, not letting it ring out. And then we're going to go, same as we did before, E, note, second fret of the D, pulling off, and then down to the B. So it's then open D, and then back to the E again, second fret of the D string. So we have a bit of vibrato there. And again. Now you've nailed that, hopefully, and you think, yeah, I like that. And I, so I just had an idea. Let's play it a different, like I did sometimes uh, in the band, play it a different uh, place up the neck, just helping your fretboard wizardry and mastery, uh, you're mastering the notes on the fretboard. Now, it doesn't sound as good up here, but that's what the fun of this exercise is, is for you to get it to sound as good as possible. So, you know the riff now. The next part, we're playing it up here, on the mainly on the... Um, we're using, well, basically third, fifth, and seventh frets. We start off with our open E again, because you can't play that anywhere else. And then we're going out to the seventh fret of the A, which is the E note, and then the 
we're going to the uh, back down to the sorry the fifth fret of the A string, which is the D note. You can either pull it off, or if you find that quite difficult, play the notes. Sounds better if you pull it off. And then we're going to hit the B note like we did before, seventh fret of the E string. So we have. Now this is where the difficult bit comes in. We're going to go. So we're going to go for the seventh fret of the E, which is the B note, the fifth fret of the E, which is the A note, then down to the third fret of the E, which is the um, G note. So then we're going to go back up to the A note, fifth fret, and then back up to the B note, the seventh fret. So we have. And then we have the end bit again. Bit easier that bit, isn't it? <laughs> so we're having the open E. Then we're going to have the seventh fret to the fifth fret to pull off. Then back to the B, A, B, D. Is that right? No, got that wrong, so it's. And the B, then we're going back up to the D, then back up to the A. So that last bit is. You should have spotted anyway that I've made a mess up of that. So, <laughs> so put all this together, we have. And that's all there is to it. Bit of a brato at the end there, sounds good. Now what I do like about this, you could just switch between the two whenever you like. Okay, so press it in segments, pick your guitar up, play one segment, then another, then another, then another. You can do it for 10 seconds each, Every time you pass your guitar, pick it up, whatever. Wherever it may be in your house, on the bed, uh, in the cat litter tray, like mine was the other week. Uh, so there we go. One too many beers. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to play it twice down the bottom of the neck, twice up the top of the neck, and then I'm just going to show you how I ended it, which you can end it how you like. But what's important is ending these things. So there's a finality to them. You think, I'm oh, finishing my practice now. Bump, done. I like, I like it like that. So after four, nice and slowly. One. Two, three, four. something like that. I'm not sure that's how I edited it before, but that's just one way of ending it. So we, when you think you've come to enough, you've had enough of it, we're going. We're just going to play the B, the open A, and then the G, and oh, so you've got second fret, sorry, B, A, G, open. So it's open E, second fret of the A string, Play it once or twice, probably once, and pull off to the A or play both notes. Second fret of the A, off to the A open, G, third fret of the um, E string, and then open E, end it. So. so you might end it like this. Okay, one more time. Oh. So there's one final bit, I'm going to play one there, one up on the higher neck, and then I'm going to play half of one and end it after three so you can really nail this. Here we go, one, two, three, four. There you have it, Helpless by Wishbone Ash. Bit more difficult this one, so you might have to pick your guitar up a few times to master it. Anyway, catch you soon in one of the next videos. So if you're a Guitar Coach Academy member, 
This series of videos is available on the member site along with all the tab and playing notes. Uh, but if you're not a member, just click the link somewhere on this page and check it out.